You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin on Monday. The pressure on Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has risen after his side lost 2-0 against West Ham United yesterday. United have not won an away match since February. They're eighth in the table and now have no recognised strikers available after Marcus Rashford's injury. They play Rochdale in the League Cup midweek before a visit from Arsenal next Monday. Liverpool responded to Manchester City's 8-0 win with a hard-earned 2-1 victory at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, keeping them top. Two first-half goals from set-pieces was enough to overcome the Blues, who had dominated the second half. Now, despite the loss, manager Frank Lampard was pleased with the performance. And it's hard to accept sort of congratulations after the loss. We can't be there, but we, we must say that the way we played in the second half is towards where we want to be. Energy, passion moving the ball quickly, changing the play, getting crosses in the box, things that we work on and we did it against Liverpool. Elsewhere in the Premier League this weekend, Arsenal won another chaotic match as they twice came from behind to beat Villa 3-2, City hammered Watford 8-0, Spurs were beaten 2-1 by high-flying Leicester City and Everton was shocked by Sheffield United at Goodison. A tweet sent by Bernardo Silva to Man City teammate Benjamin Mendy is being investigated by the FA for alleged racism. Silva compared Mendy to the character on the packet of Conguitos, which is a sweet brand available in Portugal. Mendy did not appear to take offence, but several other Twitter users did. And England's Lucy Bronze will find out tonight if she is the best player in the world. She's up for the best prize with the USA World Cup winning duo Megan Rapinoe and Alex Morgan. Liverpool's Virgil van Dijk is up for the men's award, along with usual suspects Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Thanks for watching this afternoon. Remember to see other bulletins. You can do so on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page or plzsoccer.com.